Hi there. If you're troubleshooting a piece of solid state electronics, whether it might be a guitar amp or a stereo amp or anything with transistors, you'll likely need to check diodes and transistors. So I'm making a short video to show you how to do that. Now this is going to be very practical dealing with checking diodes and transistors. We're not going to get into uh, the theory behind solid state devices. And notice I said check and not test. We're screening for one of the most common failure modes of a semiconductor, a short between junction, a junction and a transistor or a diode. There are devices for actually testing diodes and transistors as opposed to checking them, but they require usually removing the component from the circuit and uh, just take a little bit more time. So also what I'm showing you is for junction diodes and bipolar junction transistors, just run-of-the-mill transistors that have a base, a collector, and an emitter. Don't get too hung up on the fancy name though because bipolar junction transistors are the most common type of transistor. We're not going to talk about transistors like field effect transistors, just the more common ones. Now transistors come in several type cases. Um, that is sizes. They can be in a fairly large case like this one, or they might be in what's a fairly tiny case like this one. And usually the size of the case is kind of indicative of the power handling capability of the transistor. Diodes also come in different sizes. There are small ones like this one that might handle just a few amps. And then there are larger diodes like this one, which I think this handles about six amps, a little bit larger. Okay, so first of all, how do we test diodes? We're going to use a, a multimeter, and I'm using a Velman DVM850BL. It's just a relatively inexpensive, very inexpensive uh, multimeter that will do a lot of things. One of the things it will do is to measure uh, resistance. And there's a one of the settings on here is 2K resistance, and it also has a little diode symbol below it. So that's what we're going to use for testing diodes. And what we're going to be looking for when we test this diode is a low resistance in one direction and a high resistance in the other, what I'm going to call a front-to-back ratio. So it works something like this. Um, we'll put our leads on the, uh, or put our uh, meter leads on the terminals of the diode and we'll look for a low resistance in one direction and a high resistance in the other direction. If we get something other than that, let's say a short, low resistance in both directions, then we know the diode is bad. So this, di this diode is good and so when I put the probes on the leads of the uh, diode in this direction, it reads 0.520. If we reverse them, we get just a 1, which in indicates a very high vo uh, resistance reading. So this diode is good. Very same thing would we would do with the smaller one, nothing different. We'd get a low resistance in one direction. and a one or a high resistance in the other. Now, a diode is essentially a one junction device. It has a P side and an N side. It's a PN device. A transistor, on the other hand, they come in two varieties, PNP and NPN. So they're, they have two junctions in them, and we can test each of those junctions and expect to get a front-to-back ratio like we did on the diode. So I'm going to test this... Uh, transistor, which happens to be a 2SA1516 transistor. And let's just call these terminals 1 for the left one, 2 for the middle one, and 3 for the right one. So I'm going to, first of all, check between one terminals 1 and 2. If you can see the meter, we get a 1, so it's a high resistance. If we check between 1 and 2 by reversing the leads, we get a 0.473, a low resistance. So that junction looks good. 
Now, next we'll check between 1 and 3. And in this direction, with the, with the red lead, the positive lead on the left, we get 1 or a high resistance. If we reverse them and put the positive lead on the right, then we get a 0.496, a low resistance. So that junction looks good. Then, if we test between 2 and 3, this, this, is, this actually scans two junctions, so we're looking for an open circuit here. So we test in this direction, and it's a 1 or an open, high resistance. And we, te we reverse the leads, and it also is a high resistance. So for a transistor, what we're checking for is a front-to-back ratio between two sets of the leads, two sets of leads and a, a high, no front to back, or high in both directions on another set of leads. Hopefully that's clear. Let me run through it once more. If we check between the first two terminals, one and two, we have a front to back. If we check between the outside terminals, one and three, we also have a front and back. If we check between two and three, we have a high in both directions, no front to back ratio. So this transistor checks good. Now I'll show you an example of a transistor. This is a, well, let me, let me pull the same type that we just tested, a 2SA1516. We'll test between leads 1 and 2. If you see the reading, it's 0 .001. It's a, essentially a dead short. If we reverse the leads, it's 0 .001. It's a dead short. If we check between 1 and 3, it's 0 .001 in both directions. And if we check between 2 and 3, it's also a low resistance. So this transistor is shorted between all the terminals of the device. So we know that one's bad. Here's another transistor. This is a 2SC3907. I know these are bad because I just took them out of a, a unit that I was repairing. But we'll use them for purposes of demonstration. Between 1 and 2 in this direction we get 0 0.026, so that's a low resistance. If we reverse the leads on 1 and 2, we still get a 0 0.027. And if we look between 1 and 3, a 0.27. Reverse the leads on 1 and 3, and it's a 0 0.027, also a low resistance. So there's no front-to-back ratio. It's low in both directions on those terminals. And finally, we'll check between 2 and 3, 0 0.001, 0 0.001. No front-to-back in either, either sets of terminals on that device. So that one's also bad. And then finally, another 2SC3907 will test between 1 and 2, and we have 0 0.101, lower, a fairly low resistance, actually very low resistance, and also a 0 0.01 when we swap the leads on 1 and 2, a 0 0.101. So no front to back rate, there's no ratio, they're the same. Then we will check... Um, between 1 and 3, a point 0.102, we swap the leads, a point 0.103, so no front-to-back difference in front-to-back ratio. Check 2 to 3, it's essentially a short, and swapping the leads between 2 and 3, also a short. So that transistor is also, also bad. So that's how we check diodes and transistors. Uh, it's easy to check if they're out of the circuit, but you can also check them in the circuit. You just need to know what is connected in the circuit with the diode or transistor, you know, through a schematic diagram or visually looking, tracing out the, uh, the circuitry. You want to make sure that you're not getting a false reading. So I hope this video is useful to you. Um, it's not delving into a lot of theory behind transistors. It's just telling you how you can easily check transistors uh, when you need to. So thanks for watching.